G'day everyone, from Star Wars Ahsoka, the E-Wing Fighter. I only just finished doing the opening, unboxing of this and uh, yeah, straight away I kind of realised I hadn't given enough time at all, because it is really awesome. Also, I hadn't uh, done the size comparison that I wanted to do. There's the OTC 2004 X-Wing. And there is a major difference in the size. That's much better. Also, I swiped the stand from uh, this X-Wing. It doesn't look great. It's a, yeah, it's a real shame we didn't get a stand with it. Because they've been doing that a bit lately. The uh, cockpits. It's got this sort of like the tinted. And that's uh that's a clear much prefer that. That looks awesome. I've gotta check out the uh vintage collection version of the X Wing. Cause yeah, that's twenty years old now. Uh, let me get this Come on to the stand. So I just want to give you a closer look at this ship. It's awesome. Great gift idea. 100%. Both my kids uh, just love it. Okay, so yeah, that's a little stand. Uh, so yeah, it does have a uh, have landing gear, but it looks a little different on the ground. Yeah, on the stand it probably looks like it's in flight mode. But yeah, when I handed it to my kids, it had had the landing gear down, and so I folded it all up and was flying it around, and then I realised how good it looked with the landing gear up. And I was sort of thinking too, hadn't, hadn't given it a good look from behind. Looks awesome. And I was also thinking it's a shame there's no firing missiles. Like I, I can understand the lights and the sounds. But yeah, just playability is so important. Yeah, I would have liked uh, that. Okay, so let's put this landing gear down. Give it a closer look like that. I had a lot of trouble getting that out the first time. Trying to pull it from that side, but yeah, you just sort of it's a little hook there, you can pull it out easily. It's really detailed, hey. Whoever designed this must be so proud. great with the landing gear but no, definitely better in flight mode on the stand I made the mistake 
I'm thinking it rose up that way, <laughs> ripped, it, ripped it completely off. But yeah, it slides forward. You can see why we got the Astro Mech Droid instead of a pilot, because he knew who flew it in the scene. But yeah, this guy looks great, don't you think? I think he's a A-wing pilot. It's been downgraded to an E-wing. <laughs> Yeah, anyone with a a young child or a young kid, awesome gift idea. Yeah, my kids were in, in here having a look at it earlier, and yeah, they really liked it. Let's get it back onto the stand. Oh yeah, I was thinking there, there was no uh, damage at all. This is a real shiny ship. So no doubt we'll see some sort of alternate at some stage. I oh, am yeah, the uh, Shin Hate. The ship that uh, came out in Lego with this. I really love to see that. For sure. In a vintage collection, Shinhate. Okay, where's that stand? And that's one thing I wanted to say too. You can turn it like completely upside down. And the little droid will stay in place. As long as you've pushed that part back in. Yeah, I don't think I've shown you this in this video. That comes off. It's strange there's no hinge on the back. But yeah, so I just uh, put it into place and push down. And that'll hold the little droid in place. I can complete 360. Awesome. I see uh, a lot of kids having fun with this until it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> until you've broken it. <laughs> awesome new vehicle. Thumbs up Hasbro. Bring on Shinhate ship. Fly by, quick close up. There's some of the gang. Soka, Soka's astromech droid, and Harris Chopper. Been ran. Apparently, there's some scene with uh, this ship chasing Sabine Wren on a speeder. Yeah, 
I probably should have included this stand. Yeah, it's more fun to play with it with the landing gear up. Looks like it's flying rather than on the ground. Big improvement on the old TC X Wing. But you could say that one's too small, but this one, yeah, just right. Until the battle damage version comes out. <laughs> and you're on to. Yeah, it's awesome. Hope you've really enjoyed a second and closer look at the E Wing Escort Starfighter. Just before I finish the video, those who haven't already seen it, there's the box. And that's the droid's name, I couldn't remember. <laughs> K4N4. I guess it's an R7 model, just with a different name. It looks great, landed like that as well. Totally recommend it. Get it for your kids for Christmas. Yeah, watch them put it together because it's nice and easy to put together. So, yeah, it's just. The pilot. Yeah. That's yeah, what are they got what are parents gonna do? Because you can't like there's no pilots available really at the moment. But uh yeah, hopefully they've got some. <laughs> Yeah, it would have been really awesome if Hasbro had included a pilot and a stand. Until my next Star Wars collection video, may the force be with you.